Okay, Stream Deck, you're taking the absolute mickey out of me now. First up, I've already had an issue with your damn forsaken thing. Every time I restart my computer, I have to unplug it and replug it. I've updated the software, and that was another nightmare. Every time you update the software, what happens? Well, it deletes everything. So it seems like someone in their basement is starting to look after Stream Deck Elgato products because it's taking the absolute. So I'm very frustrated with this. The worst of it is I've just upgraded my PC, upgraded my setup, moved things around. I thought, let me give this bag of shit another go. And it's just now they want me to create an account to download plugins for OBS. What? Are you taking the absolute? So I wanted to go into OBS Stream Deck. All my, I backed up these files separately and I've gone in and look at this question marks. The OBS stuff is no longer here. What? You, that is like, you, they're purposely messing with people here. You pay $120, $130 for a product and they've changed it. So now OBS is an, ab you have to click on this little icon. It goes to their product shop. You have to find the, the link to download OBS as a plugin. And then you have to create an account to be able to download a plugin. For a, I've already got loads of accounts. I don't want to give you all my information so you can bombard me with useless stuff. So if you'll you'll notice, I'm not very happy about this. I've also got this, this thing here that I'm supposed to review. I've tried playing about with that and that's been not very good. So I think there used to be a time people used to be proud of their product and they used to give their customers good software good hardware things that didn't rebug but now it's just been handed to someone who's like oh yeah don't worry yeah it's just roll out an update let them delete everything that's fine don't worry let's yeah, make them download their software and then make them create an account to get an obs plugin so i'm just gonna put this on ebay and get rid of it he's been gathering dust there i'm gonna use a good old keyboard shortcuts hotkeys because every time i open it it does not work Unplug it, replug it, and then the buttons show up, and then it's just what is going on? Is this a bit moany? I don't know which channel to put this video on now. But if you're having this problem, let me should I start should I start again? Okay. So if you have an Elgato Stream Deck, they've done a number of changes and they're taking the absolute mick with this. Firstly, the updates delete all your files. I did a little video about that explaining why. It basically, it's called, they should rename it to Fail Deck because it fails all the time. And it's one of my big regrets of buying it. I explained in the last video, when you update it, it deletes all your files, but there's been a new development. Now, when you back up your files and then update to a newer version, I changed all my setup, which means I'm using my mouse now to change because this thing's, I feel like getting a hammer and just smashing it, but it's 120, 130 pounds, I think, something like that. Um, yeah, so I've also got this. I've tested that out and that's not very good either. I think they've stopped spending time in their software. There's too many blog bugs, too many glitches. Things don't work as they're supposed to work. And I'm used to things, if you're paying for a product, it should work well. But it's not. So what's happened recently is you can't get a plugin because Stream Deck wants you to log in and create an account to download a plugin, which was previously available on Stream Deck. So some smart ass has done this. I've gone to Reddit, apparently, hold on, you have to be kidding me. I need an account to download plugins now. What major technological breakthrough occurred that made that make sense? That made that make sense. He put this to Elgato. So Elgato, can you pull your finger out and stop messing about? It's like some guy in their basement just decides to upgrade something and then roll it out and not test it. And it's like affecting hundreds of thousands of people that are using these shameful products. So Stream Deck Elgato, I'm going to start having to get rid of all my Elgato products. And yes, you can tell I'm a bit frustrated. This is my second recording. I'm going to probably put both of these up. I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy at all. Can you stop moaning, please? Can you stop being a carrot? <laughs> oh dear. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorting stuff out and it's like, you know what? I've given them both a go. I've given that a go more than enough times. And now I actually use my keyboard as a shortcut system that works a lot better than a $120 thing. Streamer X have sent me this and I've not made a video about it because this isn't great either. Uh, with me, I'll only make videos about them either saying, yeah, okay, I like it, buy it, use it, or I'll say, well, I've used it, I don't like it because of X, Y, Z. This one glitches a lot. 
you can't put your microphone in there. They've sent me a plug which is not working with it. You have to have two USB cables, one for power, one for USB. I'm disappointed. Just just disappointed with these large manufacturers that should be trustworthy. Rode, Elgato, you know, can't just be doing this stuff, man. What's going on? I'm, I'm glad someone else found it. Hey, who else? Let me see what the other situation is. What else is going on here? So you're fucking telling me I need to create an account on Elgato account to download it free. Someone down here said, there's a very small continue with download link under the sign up. But I did not see that. That might have been something two months ago. But now they've removed that link. Look, I've highlighted everything here. It says, do you have an account? I don't. Create one. Oh, I forgot my password. Forgot my password. There's no link here to say sign in without... Uh, you have to create an account, basically. And they'll ask you for useless things like uh, email address and then... Oh, okay. Is that is that enough? Is that explain why you don't get an Elgato anymore? Personal experience, these views are my own. You know, based on experience of buying the damn thing and trying to use it. Signing out, thank you very much. Check out this video where it explains a bit more. I'm a bit more coherent in that one.